Well, this is something I don't do all the time, but I first, if you have mailed something to me in the last few weeks, I just want to apologize that I haven't opened any packages. So I thought, you know, it would be fun to kind of do my un unboxing here. Um, the stuff I'm going to show you has come from other channels live sales. So I'm going to give some shout outs to the ones that I have bought from. So uh, yeah, let's unbox some stuff. Okay, the first box I'm going to open is stuff that I purchased off of Misty's live sale and her channel is, let me get this right, Thrifter, Junker, Vintage, Hunter. I did it! Okay, I cheated. It's right here on the return address label. But it's okay. Um, I got it right. Uh, Thrifter, Junker, Vintage, Hunter. I still can't say it very fast though. But let's see what I bought from Misty, who I think is having another sale here coming up. So you should go watch and subscribe and all that good stuff to see when Misty is having her sales. Now, I know from buying stuff from Misty in the past that she makes her packages really frou-frou. So we'll see how frou-frou she made it today. Ah, she did. She did, of course. Add some little frou-frous in there and her little bows and her ribbons. She puts me to shame because I don't do that. I'm like, I just got to get it shipped. And she puts a little card in there that has all her little info. And so here's the first, I don't even remember what, I don't remember what I bought. Um, she put a card in here that I can use. Uh, Hi-ho, the holly isn't Christmas jolly. Whoop. Oh, there's my camera. Yes, cute. Lots of cute little touches. And then, of course, her little ribbony, which I will reuse as I'm doing packages. All right. It's exciting to get bubble wrap, too. As you guys know, I'll reuse the bubble wrap. All right. Ah, yes, the horse head. Oh, it's even better in person than it was in the sale. It is a carved wood horse head. You can see here. And uh, we're a little horse crazy around here. I used to raise and train thoroughbred race horses. It had a mark on it. Oh, this could be, I shouldn't even look because I've already decided that this is going to Rachel for Christmas. So even though his ear, his ear has been repaired. I see what you're talking about there now. He's had a little, he's had a little uh, prosthetic ear put on, uh, but he's beautiful and Rachel will love him and he hangs on the wall, which I love because then it's not something that can get cluttered, or, cluttered, up, <laughs> cluttered up on her shelf. So thank you, Misty. He is gorgeous, even better than you described. Next. Oh yeah. I won the creepy Santa. <laughs> I am probably going to pay it forward and he is going to be a giveaway in my live sale on, let's see, Monday, because you're not going to see this until Saturday. So in my Monday live sale, I'm going to pass on the love and give this away to someone else since I won it from Misty's sale. All right. So if you watched that sale and you were hoping you had won the Santa, come back to my channel on Monday and you have a chance to win them at my sale. Part of it, oh. Knives don't work unless you use the sharp side. The same. I got lots of bubble wrap. All right, there we go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This is a beautiful piece of mid-century glass that, yes, I did buy it for resale. Um, I believe I won this for $50. 
and I will be able to list this on my eBay account at around 125 and you know it's gonna sit a while so you that do the live sales don't feel bad um, you can list it but you know you're gonna sit on it a while I do the same thing with stuff I flip it off to flip it off I sell it to other resellers for less than I could sell it for um, just because I want the quick flip but I'm sure you made a good profit on this yourself and that's how this whole community works I get really good prices for glass some people may only get $50 for this that's the beauty of having a niche so this will be in my eBay store soon enough I forget who done it I had looked it up at one point I'm gonna have to look it up again So thank you, Misty. I love all the items that I won at your live sale. I'll be sure and tune in for the next one too. The next two boxes are items from my friend Patrick at Trusty Huckster Mercantile. And okay, this is kind of shameful. Actually, I'm looking at the date on this. He mailed this to me in August. This box just got put in with my boxes of stuff. So let's, there it is. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I told you I'm bad. I'm really, really bad. Don't take it personally if you haven't, if you've sent me something and you haven't heard from me, it's, um, it's my bad. It's my bad. It's because it's probably sitting in my unopened packages pile. All right, let's see. I got the little thank you card and the card that's such a nice touch and I really should do that. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to start doing that. To those of you who purchased from my live sales, would it be more special to get a little card or something in the box? Let me know in the comments. Alright. Okay, let's see. I have no clue. No clue what I ordered. What is it? And Patrick packages very well. I have bought some very expensive pieces of glass from Patrick and gotten them without problem. Oh. Oh. What is this? really sweet little olive dish look at that um, yeah it's super cute it's not marked it's just really really cute and it's got the little little forks that go with it there the that I I don't remember what I paid for it but I know I got it for a good price okay we are just gonna maybe if I put them in the small one there we go stay there all right, so we got that, but wait, there's more. Oh, yes, it is a piece of glass. Chance cannot change my love nor time impair. Oh, that is so sweet, romantically poetic right there on this little bud base. Is this signed? I have a feeling this is signed. Yes, it is signed. It's signed. Stuben. So it is a Stuben piece of glass. Like I said, I order glass from Patrick Sales all the time and they always show up in really good condition. So don't be afraid to pay for the glass. Okay, um, that was the first box of things that I actually ordered. The second box that I have from Patrick is actually something that a, a good friend of mine ordered, but she's in Canada. She didn't need everything that was in the box, so um, she ordered stuff from me. So uh, she showed me the pieces that she wanted to keep, and the rest I get to offer for sale, probably in my live sale, to offset the shipping to her. So it works out really good. So let me 
And I haven't seen, I wasn't at that sale, so I don't know what's in here, but we're gonna take a peek. Ooh, I like that packaging. Look how thick and foamy that is. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's cool. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so this was a mystery toy box, and I'll show you. I got permission to show you what uh, my friend is keeping. She's keeping some of these vintage wooden peg games. So those were in there. This guy's awful cute. The best one character watch with a little lion. This is very vintage. Look at this. I don't even know what year this is from. What year is this from? Uh, 1984. 1984 and then oh my gosh look at this TV look at this look at this I don't know what it's supposed to do I don't know if it's supposed to light up oh you look oh 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 there's doggies inside of here <laughs> that's very cool um, and then there is a little uh, a little clock with a puppy dog on it which I'm not going to unwrap because it's getting right back, 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 boxed up and sent back to her. Those are the two words I was putting together. This one makes me smile. Now I'll give you a little secret about me. <laughs> Store this in your memory banks. It could be one of my trivia questions in an upcoming live sale. Um, my nickname growing up was Linus because I had a blankie and I sucked my thumb until I was... Oh gosh, I'm sure my mom is gonna comment and correct me if I'm wrong. I must have been at least 10, 11 years old. I mean, I I sucked my I sucked my thumb and carried my blanket for a very long time. Okay, and super super revealing. I still have pieces of that blanket that I carry with me when I travel. Okay, now the stuff that we get to keep from the box, and that will be in an upcoming live sale, maybe even on Monday. World history football, ancient to middle ages, ages from teacher discovery. They're all like little, I guess, <laughs> little trivia cards. Okay, so we've got that. We've got Jacques Pulver itching powder. Okay, that seems to be a little scary. I don't want that to break open. Ooh, just the thought of that. <laughs> um, this is, looks like a little marble game, but the little marble's not in there. And I don't know how you'd get the little marble in there. So I don't know if there's a way to fix that, but there's that. There is a little plush puppy dog, a little Dalmatian. He is, well, oh, he's, he's one of the, the 101 Dalmatians, and he is not dated. Just says Walt Disney Productions. Doesn't give a date on him, so we've got him. We have mystery cards, mystery cards. I wonder if these go with some of that other stuff. More mystery cards um, and clue cards. I don't know what the clue cards are for. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think that all has to do with the um, that teacher thing. Or it's National Geographic Mystery Voyage game. There we go. Mystery solved. <laughs> mystery solved. Okay. So lots of mystery cards. And this is um, some chronology cards. So maybe this is all part of it too. If I sell this, I'll sell it all together. That way I don't have to figure out what goes with what. I let somebody else figure it out. These are little junior playing cards. They're little tiny playing cards. Um, we've got a Pong Hot Wheel. And we've got a, oh, I found another peg. All right, and we've got a little, um, this is Richard Scary 1994, a little house thingy. And we've got Dominoes! I don't know how old these dominoes are. Anybody still play dominoes? 
1970. 1970 Milton Bradley. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Anybody still play dominoes? I don't know. Does anybody still know how to play dominoes? Um, and I just want to give a shout out that this purchase of this box did go to benefit the Just One More Dachshund Rescue. That was what the sale was all about. I can't see if I'm showing this on. There we go. Okay. Um, so check them out. Um, they are on Facebook, Instagram. Um, let's see. Let's see. It was their fundraiser. Um, just one more dachshund rescue is dedicated to rescuing unwanted dachshunds, providing necessary medical care and placing them in loving forever homes. How could anyone not want their dachshund? They are just the cutest, bestest little dogs. We used to have one. Um, so I find it very sad that there's even a need to rescue dachshunds, but there you go. Um, this stuff will be passed along in my Monday live sale. If you like toys, this stuff is going to be included. Who knows? Maybe I will just sell it all together. We might just do that. All right. And then I might just throw the rest of the proceeds that we get over to the Dachshund Rescue. That would be fun. Let's do that. The next two boxes come from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. And I went to their live sale. Oh, this isn't that old. Uh, it was They mailed it on the 3rd, so today's the 10th. So I am not too far behind on this one, fortunately. I think it's when I started to realize I really need to open up these boxes of stuff. Aww, look how sweet their package is. Look at that. It's a little sticker on top, a little sparkly. I like that. That's very nice. Let's get in here and remember what I bought. I bought lots of stuff. So much stuff, it had to come in two boxes. So, um, let's see. Let's see, I see snowman. Now, some of this I did buy to resell, and some of it I bought for myself. I just have to remember what I bought for myself. All right, I got one snowman. I see the mate down here. Stand by. I have snowman salt and pepper shakers. They are so cute. These are keepers. I'm a snowman freak. Yes, I'm a turtle freak and a bird freak, but I'm also at Christmas time. I'm, I'm, I'm on the side of the snowman. Sorry, Santa. I'm not a, I'm not a big Santa fan. I'm a big snowman fan. Snowmen are real. Just saying. These I will resell. These are little kitty salt and pepper shakers. They are vintage. The corks aren't in them anymore, but the little corks are pretty easy to find. So there we go. You know, I really try not to destroy the bubble wrap so I can reuse it, but sometimes you just got to rip into the package. This is a beautiful little inlaid box. Again, I did buy this one for resale. Um, they sell pretty good on eBay. Now, this doesn't have the key. It is made in Spain, um, which I like to see. A lot of these are made in Turkey or other Middle Eastern countries. So to find one made in Spain, I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, be watching for that. What I've got, I don't know what I've got. I don't know what I've got. I do. Okay. My chicken. I got a chicken. Um, I sell caboodles of chickens in my eBay store and this guy is pretty cool. He's vintage. He's got a little felt bottom on there. So we don't know who made him. He's got a faux crackle glaze going. Makes him look old. But he's vintage. He's not antique. He's just a vintage that was made to look antique. He's just cool. I'm gonna sell it. I forget what these are, but let's find out. Let's find out together. Oh. oh, I remember now. See, this is what's fun. I, obviously I buy a lot of stuff. I'm a reseller 
And I like to have enough time to go by to where I'm like, oh yeah. And I get excited about it all over again. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you in a second. There are three of these little, these look antique to me. And they look like little made of like marquetry, all pieced together, little pieces of wood inside. These are, these are really neat. And the frames are really old. Look at it, look what the backs look like. That's how you can date these, is just the way that the backs are done. You know, and the paper used and the hanger that's used. These are really cool. I'm, I'm really quite excited about these. I will be reselling these. Yes. Okay, we are now into box number two. Again, has the cute little glitter paper and the sticker on top. Nice touch, nice touch. Okay, lots of little stuff. So bear with me as I unwrap. Okay, I got another pair of snowmen salt and pepper shakers. There they are. That's right. I think I bought. No, that's what it is. There's, there's candle holders and there's salt and pepper shakers that match. That's what it is. So they are a set of four with some of them being candle holders. Now I remember. Okay, I had to battle for the cow. I had to battle for the cow. Look how cute she is though. Look at that face. She's just a little cow creamer. Yes. I mean, my store is utterly good stuff, so. Okay, I got another cow creamer, the purple cow. I remember my grandmother having this cow and I've actually always wanted this cow. So now I have this cow, pretty cool. I bought this piece because it reminds me of Kanawa or Blanco or probably it's probably the Rainbow or Kanawa I'm thinking. Um, but I just like the mystery of figuring it out. So the price was right, as was all of their merchandise. And it is an Amberina and I'm going to do a little research and figure out who made this. This little guy is an Artesania Rinconada from Uruguay. Um, you can recognize that. It's pretty, it's pretty distinct once you learn it. Like they've got the glaze on the mat with the little texture and they always have a little mark on them on the, where's my camera? On the bottom right there. Um, and this is a unicorn and he's really cute. So I got him. And the last thing that I got from them was this little invalid feeder. Like this is an antique back in the day. If you had someone sick in bed, this is how you fed them their gruel or their soup or their whatever you fed them through there. Um, so yeah, and this is a really fine porcelain. This is a nice one. So I got that too. I'm really happy with my purchases from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Go check out their channel. Go check out their live sales. The next box of stuff comes from Jeffrey at Real Nifty Vintage. And the first thing I want to ask is, Jeffrey, how did you get tape that was branded for you? That is the coolest thing ever. Okay. I mean, there was no mistake in which package this was. So that's pretty exciting. Now, I think I only won one thing from Jeffrey this last time. But it's something really cool and that I really had to have and it got here safe and sound and it is this oh he's dribbling it's a horse planter let's see he is made by Brinks made in Taiwan so he's vintage um, again this one's not for resale we'll be keeping this one I'm gonna try the whole air plant thing and see if I can keep an air plant alive okay Misty of uh, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Let me know how I keep an air plant alive because you're the queen of the air plants. Okay, this next package was not from a live sale. This is from my friend, Jocelyn, the crazy lamp lady. And uh, she starts everything on her eBay store 
at four dollars like everything it's really crazy um i'm not there i'm i'm I don't have the guts to do that, <laughs> I gotta confess. I mean, I do my live sales starting at a dollar each. Um, so I guess that's a little bit similar, but man, I, 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 I think she does a tremendous thing. So I did wanna give her a shout out um, because I have ordered several things from her over this year. Um, but for my personal collection, you're not gonna get stuff for resale from Crazy Lamp Lady because it goes for market value because she does it at auction. Um, but as many of you know, I collect blue opalescent glass and anytime she lists a piece of blue opalescent glass, I have to battle it out to try to win a piece. So this is a piece that I won and I forget now who done it. Um, but there you go. It's just a nice little vase. It's a great addition to my collection. Thank you, Jocelyn. Love it. And it arrived very well packaged. Thank you very much. So you guys go check out Crazy Lamp Lady on eBay. Go check out her eBay listings and uh, find something you love. So that's, uh, that's my fun unboxing of stuff that I have bought at other channels, live sales, and of course, Crazy Lamp Lady's eBay store. Um, this was a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun being part of this community. And I just want to thank all of you for being part of this community and making this all happen. Um, and if you want to come see my live sale, it's on, it's on Fridays at 1 p.m. Except this week we are switching it and we are doing it Monday, December 14th. <laughs> December 14th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And we're doing that because that still gives time, hopefully, for me to get shipments to you in time for Christmas. There will be no sale on the following Friday and through the Christmas week. So normally the sales are 1 p.m. Fridays, at 1 p.m. Pacific time Fridays, and they'll start back up again after Christmas, um, after Mondays. But be here for Mondays. Oh my gosh, just subscribe and hit the notification bell and it'll let you know when I go live to do that sale. And uh, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.